Luke Fickle's first year at Wisconsin was rather underwhelming. The offense was plagued by poor quarterback play, and they never really got off the ground. The bookmakers aren't calling for much improvement this season, setting their season win total at six and a half. The Badgers are 80 to one to win the Big Ten. Can Wisconsin make strides in 2024? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, I got to tell you about a promotion we have available at wagertalk.com. From now until August 31st, you can get all my football plays college football, NFL football, and NFL preseason for one low price of 249 bucks through the end of September. Why would you be interested in that? Well, over the summer, I do my homework, and the last two years in the months of August and September, 41 and 12, 77% with college football. When you add in NFL and NFL preseason, we're still hitting 75%. You can get that right now at wt.buzz slash deals. That's the Wager Talk deals page. Of course, you're not obliged to purchase anything. You don't have to give me any money. Feel free to tune into these videos, absorb the free content. The only thing I ask of you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will ensure that I can keep on putting out these videos. Let's get into the free pick. We're taking a look at Western Michigan at Wisconsin. In week one, we got Wisconsin, a 25-point favorite. The total is sitting at 56 and a half. I mentioned the offensive struggles for Wisconsin and Luke Fickle last year. Uh, Tanner Mordecai at quarterback didn't work out. They moved in a few other guys. It, ne it never really came together for them. But there's optimism with uh, Tyler Van Dyke coming over from Miami. Uh, they did lose their leading rusher to the NFL draft, but they have a veteran, a senior running back, Ches Malusi, who uh, has proven to be very productive in the chances he's got to play, and I think he should fill that hole just fine for the Wisconsin offense. Um, I'm optimistic that Luke Fickle will uh, improve this offense and that this will be a competitive team in 2024. Tough, tough schedule for them, though. The Big Ten is... Uh, is a little less top heavy this season and they're facing a mac team once again in week one the broncos have a fifth year senior at, at quarterback hayden wolf is back for another season and he's joined by a, a freshman running back or a guy that was a freshman last year ran for over a thousand yards in his freshman season they're bringing a, a ton of guys back on both sides of the ball uh top three three of their top four wide receivers three starting offensive linemen, seven starters on defense. However, this was a team that was just four and eight last year. So, um, you know, you can take that returning talent with a grain of salt. But the best time to have uh, continuity and returning talent is going to be in week one, especially when you're playing a team that's heavily favored, that's trying to fit new pieces in. And I think that 25 points is just a little much. We did see Wisconsin start the season against a MAC team last year. Uh, they ended up beating uh, Buffalo by a score of 38 to 17. Not quite that 25 point margin. This is sort of a similar looking spot. The last time th these two teams faced off, Wisconsin won by a score of 20 to 16 back in 2017. Um, I'm gonna take the points with Western Michigan. Little bit of a disclaimer though, I'm doing videos on every week one game. I'm offering an opinion. This isn't going to be uh, one of my best plays in week one, but my lean is taking the points with Western Michigan. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.